I am uh, getting ready to go on a little overnight, actually a few nights away, for a workshop that I'll be attending, and I managed to convince my sweetheart to come with me. So I thought I would just take this opportunity to show you the process of packing for travel. When you get older and you have opportunities to travel, there's differences with how you travel, uh, or at least what you take. And the tendency is probably to take a lot more than you really need. Um, and particularly, that's a bad mistake if you're traveling via plane. Today, we're going to be driving. So we're, we're actually headed uh, out of state, but we're going to drive. So that gives you more opportunity to take more stuff with less of a challenge. One of the things you need to do when you pack is fold shirts neatly. I'm going to show you how to do that. So here is one of the shirts I want to take. I always button the top button <clears throat> and I have crud in my throat. So you got the top one done, then lay it down like this. Skip two buttons and button the next one. So every, every third button. So you got two unbuttoned buttons between and then you only need to button the top one, a middle one and usually close to the bottom one. And then it will stay together. Now, turn it over, fold the sleeve back, pull this snug like that so that it has fewer wrinkles. The whole idea with this is you don't want to get your shirts any more wrinkled than they're going to get when you put them in a suitcase. So if you kind of fold your sleeves like that, kind of like when they come out of the wrapping, when you get them at the store the first time, they're all pinned up against the cardboard thing. You're basically putting them in that same orientation, like so, and then fold this back over so it's kind of got an angled fold right there. Hopefully you can see that. And then you kind of fold it in thirds up. So grab just below the cuffs, if it's long sleeve, fold it up about a third, and then fold it one more time that way. And then it looks like so. It will have the least amount of wrinkles that way. Let me do it once more for practice or I need to do it. You can watch once more. So here's my Sunday go to church shirt, white. Button the top one. Skip two. One, two, button the next one after that. Skip two more. One, two. Button what in this case is the last one. All right, and turn it over, lay it flat. Fold it down the side, like so, and like so. Same thing on the other side. <clears throat> Get the sleeve at that nice angled fold down there. Again, you're just trying to minimize wrinkles. About a third, usually just above the cuffs. Flip it over, flip it over again, and somewhat organized, neat, ready to pack in the suitcase. One of the things you don't want to do is forget something, like underwear, or, or uh, socks, enough socks, or when I go when I go away, I still like to keep my exercise going, so I would like to take some exercise clothes. Again, if you're traveling on a plane, you kind of limit on what you can take, especially if you're only going to go with a carry-on. Then you've got to really be uh, frugal in terms of how much stuff you take. But in this case, room is not as big a factor. So I don't want to forget anything, and I don't want to take anything I don't need. I'm going to do uh, underwear, socks, and gym clothes right now. This is this is called a shoe tree 
it goes in the shoes to hold them in shape and absorb moisture if they're right I've seen some with plastic wood ones will absorb some moisture in this case I'm putting them in I guess I gotta show you I'm putting them in to help them hold the shape in there now one thing I'll do often without a shoe tree is take some socks and wad them up roll them up and stick them in and that kind of serves the same purpose and it helps with compact packing one of the things you do not want to forget either is toiletries the things you need for shaving for um, taking care of your hair cologne deodorant that kind of stuff so same thing you don't want too much but you don't want to not have what you need either in this case if we run out we're going to a city they got stores we could get stuff if we needed it but it's just one more thing we'd have to do so make sure you got what you need and don't take anything you don't need q-tips cool styling hair style gel balding guy scalp coloring fibers hairspray but notice for traveling I can take a travel size which will be plenty for the trip deodorant powder in a travel size shaving cream this one's almost empty I think I'll take my regular one critical toothbrush in a travel case razor disposable I like that one better than my regular one floss toothpaste Travel size, by the way. Actually, that's the dentist freebie giveaway. A little hand lotion. Big hairspray. Small hairspray. This one gets to go. This one stays. Giving them his what everybody needs to know about being a man speech. Well, stepsons, uh, I realize now as I'm editing this video that I didn't shoot all the video I probably should have. I didn't get myself packing the actual suitcase. That's where the real fun begins because then you got to fit it all in there. But you'll get that opportunity if you got it. If you have hard side luggage, it keeps it better and more organized that way but if you have like a duffel bag then it's gonna be kinda messed up when you get it that way too if you're going camping duffel bags are great that's what I use if I'm traveling I use a suitcase that has hard sides so that it can protect stuff so when you have the opportunity to go traveling and you're putting your clothes in a suitcase now you know what a shoe tree is you know how to fold your shirts so that they won't be as wrinkled when you get where you're going and uh, you know what to take and what not to take. Stepsons, I hope that helps. I hope you get chances to travel. I hope you remember the two messages from every video. You can succeed even though your dad's not in your daily life and always remember that your stepdad loves you. That was a good speech. some of the packing while I scratch my nose here's extra yeah that was good